edition of Beers and Beards with Matt. Uh, tonight's kind of a special uh, occasion, I guess you can say, and I felt like being a little silly tonight also. Uh, tonight marks, uh, by my reviews, this will be the 60th beer review that I've done on my YouTube channel. Uh, and this continues on season four of, you know, Let's Drink with Matt or Beers and Beards with Matt or Matt's Beer Reviews, whatever you want to call it. It's been through quite a few inclinations in the past, probably about maybe four or five months or something like that. But I'm sticking with the Beers and Beards. That's the official name from now on. It's not going to be changing anymore. It is Beers and Beards with Matt. Uh, mainly because you always see me with a beard. Uh, and I always drink a beer also. So it seemed to make sense. Now, like I said, this is going to be the 60th beer review. Now, this isn't really going to be a review because I'm already going into this review I'm going to have tonight thinking that the, it's going to be complete shit. And it's going to be complete shit for the most part because I am drinking a malt beverage tonight. Now, this is called Tilt, and how cleverly the tea is tilted. Just like a tilted tea, I guess you could say. Now, this is a 16 fluid ounces, and it contains alcohol. There you go. Doesn't say what kind of alcohol. I guess it contains alcohol. And this is uh, 8% ABV, or uh, 18% alcohol by volume for one pint, which is 16 ounces for you math whizzes out there. Now, uh, this is all it really says here. Premium malt beverage with natural flavors and artificial colors. So you know it's going to be really bad. Now, this particular brand, uh, it's called Tilt, is actually distributed by, brewed and canned by the Anheuser-Busch. Uh, incorporated in St. Louis, Missouri. So you also know it's going to be pretty shitty because it's an Anheuser-Busch beer, which is Budweiser, which sucks. doesn't suck for the sake of drinkability. I mean, I'm sure you can knock back quite a few Budweiser and be perfectly happy. Me, myself, I don't drink Budweiser unless I really need to, and it's the only thing that's really possible, and I have no other choice around it. So this is Tilt by Anheuser-Busch, and it's just a big gray can, so... Let's see, I'm going to pop this, and what's more American than drinking out of a fucking football glass, bitch? How do you like this? A football glass. Miller Lite football glass on both sides. Laces out, Dan, for you Ace Ventura fans. I'll be drinking out of a big football tonight. Now, I'm not trying to be surly in this interview, or this review, or anything like that. This is, this is just for fun. This is not what I drink at all. If you see my videos, you know I don't drink no... I try not to drink shit beer. I drink craft beer pretty much all the time. Ooh, it smells like lime. So, this isn't like some crazy malt, like a malt liquor. This isn't like a, a an oldie or any of the other stuff. This is just like a straight, like, smeared off ice type of shit. So, let's pour this. Oh my god, look at it. It is green. It's green, folks. I'm drinking a green beverage. For the first time, I mean, I don't think I've drinking a green beverage since, like, Ecto Cooler or something like that. Take a look at this thing. It's not even St. Patrick's Day. And I'm drinking out of this disgusting... I'm drinking out of a green football now. Now, this is just going to be hilarious and fun. It doesn't smell bad, but this is going to give me a major stomachache. Because I, I, I can't handle these sickeningly sweet malt beverages, but let's go anyway. Yeah. Sweet on sweet on sweet. With this, oh, it's got a, it's got a beer taste to it too, which is so funny, for like a malt beverage. That it actually tastes like beer in a way, very very shitty beer. It's like a sweet corny, syrupy, green beer. Now I got this idea. I was on the computer. I was watching one of um. Hog, Hog 4305's videos, my buddy Roger, who is doing a good job, and he likes doing his uh, his shit beer reviews and everything like that, his his uh, you know foul beer reviews, and he was doing a uh, like a game winner ice or something like that. It was some beer that you can only get at 7-Eleven, and I happened to pick this up at 7-Eleven, so he kind of gave me the uh, I don't want to say courage, I guess you could say courage in a way, or just kind of the in, in, like an influence to kind of do this nasty beer review. The only thing is that at least his his beer looked like beer. Mine looks like the Hulk just took a piss in this 8% too. It's like 
most of the time it's like those malt beverages like a Smirnoff Ice or any of that other bullshit you have. It's about maybe five, five percent, maybe four and a half. So they're very, very low. I, I, it's hard for me to believe like squeezing eight percent out of this really horrible beer, but I mean I guess that's the whole thing of like the, the, the new high gravity stuff and everything like that. I'm not really so familiar with that. I'm on to the whole whole malt liquor scene and stuff like that. I think it's more like just having fun and being goofy and stuff like that. I guess kind of like talking shit about how bad the beer is and everything like that. But it's like drinking green syrup and. Thing about this is like my palate isn't good with these things. I'm, I'm like salivating a lot, getting this like nice, not nice, disgusting, sick, sweet, just residue in my mouth drinking this. It's like, yeah, it's like tart too. It's like lemon lime. I mean, I wish this would say ingredients on it doesn't. I mean, it has a government warning. The government warning on this should say, don't drink this shit because it's horrible. Tilt. It's always foreboding, too, when you say something that just says contains alcohol. Well, I mean, what the hell does that mean? Rubbing alcohol? Um, I, don't, I don't know. It, it scares me a little bit, but... And I'm scared about what my urine's gonna... or my stomach's gonna be feeling like later on. News on YouTube. I just found this out today. YouTube is extending... The amount of minutes you have for a video, because you know how, well, of course, the usual time was about the cutoff was about 10 minutes and 59 seconds, and you can actually shoot a video in the time where it would cut you off and you can't post it. From what I heard now, the time is going up to 15 minutes now, so you're getting almost an extra four minutes of video time, and that's helpful to a lot of people. I mean, I I, I ramble on sometimes in my latest inter my latest review, I rambled on a lot, <clears throat> but um, now it's it's gonna give you a little more time to talk. Be, you know, do little things that you wouldn't want to, that you would want to, and you didn't have enough time, or split it, because you know if you're a partner, you have unlimited time. You can your videos can go on as long as you want. So for our for us non uh, partners, it helps a lot more that you can actually extend your videos more and do a little bit more with your video without being under extreme time constraints like 10 minutes. So I think that's really cool. Thanks YouTube for not being dicks and keeping this time down to 11 minutes and giving us a little more time because you know some people like to talk and like I'm doing trying to avoid drinking this shit beer or shit malt beverage it's hard to I mean I don't know how people I don't know how you people you be to you guys you malt guys chug this shit I mean it may, it's probably not as sweet as this but the carbonation I couldn't do that you guys are nuts respect for you and you guys having a good time and that's what I'm trying to do right now I'm watching Robin Hood Men and Thieves right now while I'm doing this video, so you know I'm having a good time. You know, Kevin Costner with a mullet, Morgan Freeman acting like an Arab, uh, Alan Rickman being a bastard in general. I mean, this is like what the Russell Crowe shit Robin Hood wish it could have been when they did it. Because this movie, this movie is like one of my favorite like action adventure movies. I think it's great. So you know what? Pair this, the tilt from Anheuser Busch, with Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, and you'll have a good time just watching the movie and uh, in not enjoying your malt beer or beverage. I don't want to call it a beer. It's not a beer to me. It's a beverage. It's a disgusting, sweet, sickening shit beverage. No, it's starting to taste like a rubbing alcohol now. Let's not forget, forget it's green. It is green. Emerald green. Soylent green. And there is probably people in this. Soylent green is people. And it is tilt by Anheuser-Busch. God, I want to burp. Maybe some of finish this. Oh, God. <coughs> that was horrible. Sweet and alcohol. Like drinking an alcohol 
like drinking rubbing alcohol with just some corn syrup in it and dyeing it green. And that's what you're getting with this. I really got nothing else to say, people. This is probably a bad idea. Uh, late at night, my stomach will hate me. Um, but whatever, it's all in fun. I'm gonna do two more of these bad boys. This is only 8%. I got two more in there that are both 12%. And that's gonna be uh, an experience that I hope I never have again after I get done with this. But I'll man up, I'll do it. Whatever, uh, it's all in fun, so fuck it. So this was the 60th beer review. <laughs> Think of all the other good beer reviews you've seen of me, and then take this one, and then say, Matt, what the fuck were you thinking? And it's like, well, I probably wasn't thinking, but I was also trying to have a little fun, so whatever. So that's it. Tilt by Anheuser Bush. Don't buy it. It sucks. It's garbage. It's a dollar sixty nine at, at your local uh, liquor store, or Seven Eleven, or gas station. It is. Let it stay there. Let it sit on the shelf. Let it. Maybe if it, it's green now, maybe if it sits there and is, it goes bad, and maybe it will turn into a beer color after that and that's an experiment with maybe messing around with maybe not in your home but maybe in your friend's house or somebody else's house i don't know so that's about it <laughs> i'm out of here guys don't forget to subscribe this is beers and beers with matt take it easy and i'll see you guys on the other side